Hi, I'm Sean Graff with Lisa Mutt Public Works. I'm here with Lindsay Anderson with Channel 41 News, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the chemicals that we use to treat snow and ice on the roadways and how they affect the pavement. Yeah, so a lot of the materials that you guys use include salt, right? And salt is a huge uh, component and, and helper in melting the roadways because it lowers the freezing point of water. Water normally freezes at 32 degrees. And if you look at the molecular level, that's when we start to get some crystals starting to form that freeze over. But the salt acts like a stopper of those crystals from forming. So it basically is able to um, keep the melt or the water melted and keep it as a liquid precipitation, even though it's below 32 degrees. Degree, so it kind of stops that ice crystal from forming. Absolutely, and we have several different types of chemicals at our disposal. So as the temperatures drop, we can add chemicals to it that will actually lower the, the freezing point even lower than what just regular rock salt will do. That's right. Uh, sometimes it gets really cold and you might have to add in other chemicals. Is that right? Like calcium chloride? Correct. We, yeah, we use calcium chloride and beet juice both with uh, mixed within our salt brine. Yeah, and that helps probably when the temperatures are varied around the area and, and even colder than 32 degrees. Yep. Lindsay, thank you very much.